The seventh step on our cross-country flight plan involves calculating out our winds to use for our climb portion. And for our climb portion, when we departed Greenville, the weather briefer told us the winds were coming out of 180 at 5 knots. And then at 3,000 feet, the winds are coming out of 240 at 10 knots. And then finally, as we get closer to the altitude we want to fly the flight plan at, the winds are coming out of 280 at 20 knots. So because we're transitioning through these different wind directions, we should find the basically the center of these three. So what we can do, it doesn't have to be perfect, but we can get the average. We departed, well the winds at 6,000 feet are 280, and the winds at the surface were 180. So the difference between these is 100, and you divide that by 2, and it equals 50. So then we can take 50 and add it back to our 180, and then that will give us 230. So we use the wind direction of about 230 degrees, and then let's look at the velocity. Well, at the surface, the winds were coming out of 5 knots, and the winds aloft were coming out of, uh, were, I'm sorry, the winds were 5 knots at the surface and 20 knots up at 6,000 feet. So 20 minus 5 is 15. We need to divide that number by 2, which would be 7.5. We'll just call it about 8 to keep our numbers e easy to work with. And then we need to add 8 back to 5. So 8 plus 5 equals 13. So the winds for our climb, we are going to use 230 at 13.